Hello, okay, today I'm going to show you how to do these abstracty type faces. Uh, they're really quick and easy, each one takes, you know, about 3-4 minutes to do, so they're really good for beginners. Um, this is just a couple of sketchbooks that I do faces in, and then I cut them out, as you can see here, and stick them in my art journal. So here's one of the art journal pages, with one of the abstracty faces. What you're going to need to get a blank page is these Brilliance ink pads, Brilliance ones from Dewdrops, and one of these poster paint pens, just a white marker pen. Um, you don't need as many colours as these, I'd say probably a minimum of two colours, uh, one for the outline and one for the flesh tone. It doesn't have to be a flesh tone obviously because it's extracty, so lots of colours. If you don't have any of these, let's go to my ink vanity case, there's one. Um, I think these chalks will probably work as well because they've got um, these nibs to them. I don't think, if I'm honest, a proper ink pad would work if you tried to use the corner. Okay, so let's set you up. And I'll try and work around the tripod. I think I'm going to do bright colours today. So, these kind of colours, I think. Bright, 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 bright. Oh, I've lost my ivy colour. I don't know where that is. I wanted to do an outline with ivy, but it's not it's not here. Oh, it's down here. Found it. Okay. So, what you need to do is just do a U-shape. And the harder you press, the more pigment comes out. But I quite like that it's a bit, a bit off with the colour. Then put a nose in. And put a couple of eyebrows and a couple of eyes. You just need to be determined with where you make the marks because the ink's going to go <laughs> where it's going to go. So, then a neck. And then hair. I don't know what to do for this hair. Let's go ski with. Give him a quiff. A little bob here, quite it looks like something. If you put more pressure on, you can make it darker. Got my mum's old hair still. <laughs> okay. So let's get, I think, the yellow. Now, there's no... No great skill here. You just stick it where you think you want the colour. And some blue. No skill involved at all. Red, red above the eyebrow, I think. And just under there. Purple. Well, that was lavender, actually. This one's purple. Then a pink. So as you can see, no skill required whatsoever. You just stick it where you want it to go. Then with the hair, I think I'm going to put some dark, dark colours in the hair. Oh, no, I don't know now. I'm looking at these pearlescent colours. The, also, the pearlescent colours in these are really, really luscious. They're lovely colours. Ever so sparkly. I'll lift one up at the end and show you how sparkly they are. Listen to olive. I'm doing it fairly quick to try and keep the um, crimson copper, try and keep the video in quite a decent time, not really excessive. Okay, now I've done that, I think I want the eyes and things to be a little bit darker. So darken them up a little bit. Stick the eyebrows in a bit better. And the jaw.
Okay. Now you want to get your poster pen and just go in the eyeballs, define them a little bit, and do a little reflection. And it's really the bits that you're suggesting gives the picture more definition than if you actually went in and, and you know properly defined the thing. And then lips. Okay. So you'll obviously spend more time on yours. But you get the idea. I'd spend more time doing this before I put it on a page. On this one, as you can see, I've gone around the the eyes with um, black as well and around the outline to tie in with these branches up here so I'd say when you put them in your if you're going to not do it on an art journal page if you're going to do it separate let me find some pictures for you if you're going to do it separate I wouldn't define it too much let me hold one up to the light so you can see the shimmer because I think she's got some in her hair yeah there look so there's the really nice pearlescent sheens sheens to them and like I say, no skill at all, so a minimum of two ink pads. And you'll be able to make these really easy and quick faces. Okay, so give it a go, and I hope you like.